I'll bet that most of you are feeling a bit like Neil right now. That the world as you thought it was is not exactly what it was. And as the insanity grows around you and your trust in that which you trusted dissolves, you're left like Neil in a world where nothing makes sense. He's being taken into a place where there's no connection to what he knew to be true. And that I think is the place where most people are on the planet who are waking up to the fact that we've been governed by crooked governance systems and crooked people for so long, none of us know the difference. None of us could even comprehend what it's like to be in a governance system that's for the people and by the people. Essentially, it's a resource extraction machine with only a few bloodlines hidden, extracting the wealth from us all. And like slaves, we work in different uh, places. But for the most of us, we're not connected to our heart's destiny and to what we really want to do. And we wake up into this world of darkness and our spiritual beliefs are very maybe lucid because people are experiencing generally through psychedelics, DMT, ayahuasca, mushrooms, LSD, are experiencing accessing higher levels of consciousness, different states of consciousness that can't be explained by the mundane, can't be explained by politicians, can't be dismissed by doctors. The experience is so real and the experience is so transformative that you have to take it into account, but the culture of the day is not taking that into account because it is in such a mass illusion around this whole financial pot of bullshit that has been concocted for the last, let's say, 250 years. And now we're all born into it. None of us had a say in the design of it. And what are we to do? What really can the individual do when all of a sudden the woman in the red dress walks by? And boom. It could be another trap. All of this bright and shiny stuff, all of this sexual stuff, all of this money stuff. Look what it is doing to the world. And so for you, for you as the Jedi Knight, the spiritual aspirant, the person seeking truth, the individual who has decided to really figure out why they're here and not rely on anyone else and to do their own research and to look and seek for what is actually true to being a human being, you know, to be the one. Where do you look for your truth? We're surrounded by these movies which give us programming. We're surrounded by these TV shows which give us programming and these screens are at a certain frequency. Boom, 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 boom. And Morpheus is saying, none of it is real. None of it is real. And Neo is going, ah. Oh. What do you mean? He just woke up. He doesn't understand the relationship between the machines and the humans. He doesn't understand why he's the one. He doesn't understand how he's been programmed or how he has to get rid of the program. 
but so much of this movie has to do with the relationship between machines and humans and who is using who and what really is artificial intelligence what really are nanobots you know what really can software do connected to all the other technologies that are out there and who is doing it who is doing the research and why are they doing the research and how does it link to the good of the people if it isn't linked to the good of the people and it's linked to military weaponry which seems to be where most of this research money is going like how can a country call itself an actual organization for we the people if it spends half of its budget on military more than the top 10 other countries in the in the world like how is that possible the degree of the hypocrisy that americans have to face today and pretty much all of us i'm not saying canadians aren't as bad we have our own hypocrisies but at the national or religious levels if you identify with being a canadian or an american or you identify as being a muslim or a christian these larger group archetypes are all caught in the scam you almost have to see everything out there in one way or another is connected to a huge scam and that's the hard part for us to really fathom the average normal human being who just wants a normal life and basically you know they deserve it it's our right supposedly to have a chance at some sort of normal life where we can have you know a, a place to live food to eat something to do a place with our families to interact with and yet if that isn't even there and they say it is it's time for we the people to become we the people and if you're sitting on the fence right now or if you're wondering what to do you know you look at the deepest levels of who you are and how much do you trust these governments and the government will only become for the people when the people decide it to be so because right now it's a leech it's a parasite and it's screwing with us in ways you can't even imagine with almost 44% of your money going to this infrastructure that is what to make your life worse i mean it's time to really stand up everyone now it is the time I know that can be a bit scary for people and I can get a little bit too much, a little too intense, right? I mean, no one wants to deal with the old agent guy. So maybe we got to be a bit smarter. Maybe we got to calm down, do some planning, do some meeting, you know, get stabilized, get integrated. So if you're interested in what I'm saying, just give a message to old Captain Sweep and uh, we'll have a little chat afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs>